We've heard rumors about it forever, and today we're finally getting a look at it. It's Apple's first foray into the fashion world, and it's coming in the form of a watch. Whether or not this wearable is going to be the next big thing from Apple remains to be seen, but for now, we just wanna see what makes this watch tick. So, today, we are tearing down the Apple Watch. Hi, I'm Kate with iFixit, and today we're tearing down the Apple Watch. With the ability to tell time in hours, minutes, and in seconds, the Apple Watch is functional as well as beautiful. With a sleek chrome and anodized aluminum exterior, combined with the colorful and whimsical face, the Apple Watch is truly a fashion statement. The watch's crown represents the crowning achievement in Apple's engineering, allowing for an effortless and fluid way of adjusting the time. On the back, you'll find the whole thing sealed up with a brushed stainless steel rear cover. With our tweezer fingers itching to get started, we got to work on removing the sporty elastomer band. Held in place by standard 18 millimeter spring bars, removing the band proved easy enough with the right tools. This means that replacing your watch band is possible. Way to go, Apple. Getting into the watch also proved to be pleasantly simple. A quick twist with a small flathead screwdriver popped the rear cover off and we got our first look inside the Apple Watch. Right off the bat, we're struck with just how much space is left inside. We're guessing Apple is future-proofing the design to allow more features in future models. For now, there is a small plastic brace in place that keeps the Taptic engine and the Apple S1 system package safe and secure inside the watch body. Digging in further, we disconnect and remove the battery. This is a 1.5 volt, 12 to 18 milliamp hour, AG4 alkaline battery cell. Next up, we turn our attention to that digital crown which interfaces with the Apple S1 computer via a long stem that is locked in place. By depressing a tiny lever, the crown is released, allowing us to get a closer look at it. Now that we've removed the crown, the rest of the internals come out easily enough. We're pleased to see that for this watch, Apple has gone with a non-fuse display, meaning breaking your glass won't require an entire display assembly replacement. It takes the removal of a very small flathead screw to allow us to begin disassembling the S1 system package. The first piece out is the ultra-low power microcontroller, complete with its quartz crystal, which operates at 32,768 hertz. This quartz crystal oscillation triggers the pulse of the motor, which is capable of maintaining accurate time within one second per day. All that's left now is the motor coil and the drive gear, which definitely requires tweezers to remove as they are incredibly small. We've come to the end of our teardown, and like always, we wanna give you an idea about how repairable a device is by giving it a repairability score between one and 10, 10 being the easiest to repair and one being the hardest. The Apple Watch scored a nine out of 10, and here's why. On the upside, there are no adhesive used in the watch. The watch uses a standard watch band. The watch's battery is easily replaceable. And the front glass and display are not fused. But on the downside, Apple does not make a repair manual available for this product. You can find the complete teardown, including high quality images at ifixit.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on teardowns and repairs. Make sure to follow us on Twitter at ifixit and give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com slash ifixit.